In this session, the topic is regular expression and identities. Now, question is coming in the mind: What is a regular expression? So, we have, we can define this one in this way: We are mainly concerned with the characterization of set of strings recognized by finite automaton. We know what is a finite automaton. We are having finite number of states, finite number of input symbols, finite number of outputs, finite number of st state transitions and so on. We had that idea. Okay. Now, see. So, now they are trying to formulate the set of strings which will be recognized by the finite automata. So, that is very important this line. It is therefore appropriate to develop a compact language for describing such sets of string. So, those set of strings which can be recognized by finite automata, for them they want to develop one compact language so that it can describe those set of strings. The language thus developed is known as type 3 language. What is type 3 language? We have discussed this uh, that one in our Chomkis classification of languages. So, known as a type 3 language or as the language of regular expressions. So, let us suppose this is the sample strings and obviously, if they are the sample strings and then if I can express it in the finite automaton, then obviously that will be a good example of regular expressions. So, let me write the respective, draw the respective finite automaton for them. So, 1, 0, 1, I can write in this way. So, I am drawing one transition diagram 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, that is my initial state and that is my final state. Yes, you could have given the uh, state names also, state numbering or state names. Okay. Now, what about this one? We are having 0, 1 plus 1, 0, 1, 1. So, this is one type of a string. So, as it is a string consisting of zeros and ones, let us try to draw one automaton against that one. Okay. So, now you see 0 1 will be coming of first 0 then 1 and this plus indicates that otherwise or 1 0 and then it will be followed by 1 1. So, the corresponding automaton can be drawn in this way that is so, that is the possible solution. So, either 0 1 or 1 0 followed by 1 1. So, this particular set of strings consisting of zeros and ones against them I have drawn the respective finite state or say transition systems. Okay. So, this is my regular expressions. Let us suppose we are having a very common one that is our 1 star. We write this 1 star as kappa plus 1 plus 1 1 plus all possible combinations of 1s. Okay. So, that means if you have 0 length string, 0 length string consisting of 1 then that can be null, 1 length string that can be 1, 2 length string that will be 1 1, the string with length 3 that will be 1 1 1 and so on. Here star is referred to as the closer operation. This set consisting of strings with arbitrary number of 1s including 0. So, arbitrary number of 1s and the number can be also 0. 1 plus means the same string but excluding the kappa or the lambda. So, that means, so that means 1 star is equal to 1 plus union this lambda. So, this 1 plus means you are considering all possible strings consisting of 1s with any number of and the number must be greater than or equal to 1. So, that is our 1 plus. So, in this way, so these are the very common things. So, in this way, we have defined the respective sets, set of strings. Okay. Now, see, we are having two things. One is your lambda or kappa or null, another one is this phi. So, what is the basic difference between them? Here you see, this is my initial state because the inward, inward arrow is denoting the initial state and the double circles is denoting that it is a final state. So, now you see I can reach to the initial state and that is the final state that means without any valid input that means with the null input 
I can move from the initial to the final state. So that is why it is R is equal to kappa. But here you see you cannot find any input with the help of which you can have a transition from the initial state to the final state because the final st state itself is having no inward arrow. So, none can reach, no one can reach using any kind of string to the final state. So, the regular expression which has been expressed through this transition diagram is r is equal to phi. Let us suppose from the initial state apply uh, after applying this alpha this regular expression I am going for this final state. So, I can say that this particular transition system is, re is recognizing the regular expression that is over uh, alpha. Transition systems recognizing elementary regular sets. So, this is a very basic concept. Okay. Now, these are the identities you are supposed to remember. All these identities are to be remembered. We know the meaning of this plus, we know the meaning of this null, we know the meaning of this say uh, plus we have discussed and if you write adjacent r star r then what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? Everything we have we have done the required uh, homework here and this particular identities are to be remembered because so many questions will be coming where we shall have to apply these identities to solve the problem. Okay. I am just taking some of them. Say what is R star? 1 star means lambda plus 1 plus 1 1 plus and so on. So, what is R star? R star is nothing but lambda plus R plus R R plus and so on. But if we have R R star, if we have R R star means what? R R star lambda plus R plus R R plus R R R plus and so on. So, now just go on concatenating you are getting you are getting this one as R lambda you are getting this one as R R R you are getting this one as R R R R R R you are getting this one R R R. So, in this way you can go on concatenating. So, now so I am just writing this one as Obviously, it is nothing but r plus, but if I take this r common at the end, then I shall be remaining with so I shall be remaining with lambda plus r plus r r plus r r r plus dot 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 r. So, this is nothing but r star and that is r. So, in this way this particular thing can be shown, but you should have to remember all of them. We know the meaning of this plus, we know the meaning of phi, we know the meaning of lambda, we know what is the meaning of writing two uh, regular expressions side by side. So, everything we got the idea. So, now it has to be they are to be remembered because in the next videos we will be having so many problems are going to be solved and in those problems these particular 12 identities will be required as when required. So, what is a regular expression? What is the strings? How the strings can be uh, expressed with the help of some transition system using some finite automata? And what are the uh, elementary regular sets? And what is 1 star? What is 1 plus? What is what are my Boolean identities? So, we have discussed all these issues in this particular session. Thanks for watching this video.